Today we explain the pedagogy behind the IPEA approach. The IPEA approach uses AR in a peer learning setting. Both concepts, AR and peer learning, are part of a larger pedagogical concept, aiming at students' autonomy in the learning process. Traditional pedagogy is teacher-centered, which means that teachers design the learning processes and impose material with the assumption that they know best. Enhancing students' autonomy means leaving this approach. And tragedy, as a method and practice of teaching adults, treats students as self-directed learners. However, for the sphere of higher education and the IPEA approach, the concept of eutagogy is the most interesting. Here, educators develop their students' capability to learn in a creative process. They focus on the learning process rather than on the content, and learning takes place through self-managed action. At the same time, learners' autonomy can only develop in parallel with the ability of students to use technologies and e-search methods, in other words, with e-maturity. E-maturity is related to technology-enhanced learning skills. During the course, students may ask for different kinds of pedagogies. For example, they may understand the task, but the use of AR may need a more teacher-centered approach. The IPA pedagogy aims at students' engagement, motivation and empowerment. Research on students' and educators' perspectives reveals four elements for successfully implementing the IPA approach. The first concept focuses on group dynamics and the definition of peer learning for the specific task because there are different kinds of relationships in peer learning. For example, peers can learn with each other, learn from each other or mentor one another. Due to this choice, the level of student autonomy may vary. The second concept behind the IP approach is visual learning. The visual language supports the learning process effectively. Visual literacy comprises both visual thinking and visual reading, and it means being capable of creating or using visual content both online and offline. As a third concept, AR tools utilize the digital competences of educators and students. The fourth concept is feedback and reward, which ensures the success of the collaboration. The four pillars of the IPA pedagogy are inseparable. Visual literacy and digital competencies in AR need the peer learning setting to support students' empowerment. Furthermore, feedback mechanisms are important, an important part of this design to enhance students' engagement and autonomy. In our guidelines for educators, we give practical advice on how to utilize the IPA approach. For example, it is recommended to let students actively choose their peers, as this will improve their collaboration. Additionally, the task should be within the optimal level of difficulty and serve the learning outcomes. Furthermore, we recommend the use of templates for peer feedback whenever needed. Last not least, educators should be aware of different group dynamics. The preliminary findings of IPEA research show that the IPEA approach has the potential to serve its purpose, which means to promote students' autonomy, creativity and satisfaction. However, the study is ongoing and targets more case studies. New findings will be part of the next round of this MOOC and of a conference in 2023.